Hello, this is Drew Bradshaw, and today we're going to look at prepositional phrases. Prepositional phrases modify or describe the subject or verb phrase, but they can also modify up other prepositional phrases. For example, let's look at this sentence. He went swimming with some of his friends from his youth group. He went swimming with some of his friends from his youth group. The prepositional phrase from his youth group tells more about the friends, so it is actually modifying the word friends from the previous prepositional phrase. So let's take a look at how we would break this down. Who or what is this about? It's about he. What does he do? Went swimming. Went swimming what? We don't know. Went swimming with his friends is a prepositional phrase, or with some friends. Preposition is with, some modifies friends. Friends is the object of the prepositional phrase. It modifies when swimming. It's telling us one detail. It's telling us the space that he went swimming, the space with his friends. From his youth group is a second prepositional phrase. From is the preposition. Group is the object of the preposition. What kind of group? Youth group. What kind of group? His group. What does it modify? It actually modifies friends. So you can see our sentence base here, he went swimming. Then we have a prepositional phrase with some friends. And then we have a prepositional phrase modifying the previous prepositional phrase from his youth group. In these next few examples, the sentences are written correctly but the diagram is incorrect. The children are scared of tornadoes in Indiana. Who or what is this about? It is about children. What do the children do? They exist. They exist, so R means they exist as. Exist as what? Scared, predicate adjective. Which children? The children. Now we have two prepositional phrases. We have of tornadoes and in Indiana. They are scared of tornadoes. They, they are scared of the space of tornadoes. And then where are the tornadoes? In Indiana. So we have of tornadoes in Indiana. So this is diagrammed wrong. We need to have our sentence base. Children are scared, the children scared of the space of tornadoes. Which tornadoes? The ones in Indiana. Hang their coats on the rack in the closet. Hang their coats on the rack in the closet. Who or what is this about? It's about the understood you. You. Hang their coats on the rack in the closet. So hang is what you do. What do you hang? Coats. Which coats? Their coats. Now we have on the rack in the closet. Two prepositional phrases. Each one adds one detail to the sentence. Where do you hang them? On the rack. Which rack? In the closet. So this is diagrammed wrong. You hang coats their coats on rack the on rack the in closet the in closet the did you put your socks in the top drawer of my dresser did you put your socks in the top drawer of my dresser this is a question, so we need to make it into a statement. You did put your socks 
in the top drawer of my dresser. Who or what is this about? It's about you. What did you do? Did put. Did put what? Socks. Which socks? Your. In the top drawer of my dresser are two prepositional phrases. They start with a preposition. They end with an object of the preposition. They include any word in between. They add one detail to the sentence of either time or space. In the top drawer is a space to put something. Of my dresser is a space where the drawer is. So let's go ahead and diagram this. You did put socks, your socks, in drawer, the top of dresser my, of dresser my. There can be more than two prepositional phrases in a row. For example, let's take a look at this sentence. You should never spit from a window on the top floor of any building. Who or what is this about? It's about you. What, what do you do? Should spit. Should spit what? We don't know, so there's no direct object. How do we spit? Never. From the window on the top floor of any building. From window on floor, which floor top, which floor the, of building, which building any. From the window tells us where we should spit. Which window, the one on the top floor, which floor of any building. So we have our simple subject, our simple predicate, our modifier telling us never. From a window on the top floor of any building. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. The sentence is correct and so is the diagram frame. We toasted marshmallows on sticks from our oak tree. Who or what is this about? It's about we, what did we do? We toasted, what did we toast? Marshmallows, so we have our sentence base. We toasted marshmallows. On sticks from our oak tree, those are two prepositional phrases. And on sticks is showing us where we toasted them. And from our oak tree tells us where the sticks came from. Okay, on sticks from tree our oak. We toasted marshmallows on sticks from our oak tree in our backyard. So this is just like the last one, but it adds an additional prepositional phrase at the end. Who or what is this about? It's about we. What did we do? We toasted. What did we toast? Marshmallows on sticks from the oak tree in our backyard. Preposition, object of the preposition, preposition, object of the preposition, which tree, oak, which tree, the preposition, object of the preposition, which backyard, our. Where do we toast them? On sticks. Where are the sticks from? The oak tree. Where's the tree from? The backyard. We toasted marshmallows on sticks from tree, the tree, oak tree, in backyard, which backyard, our backyard. The book on the front seat of the car is for Sarah. Who or what is this about? It's about book. 
What does the book do? It exists. It is. Is what? We don't know. Which book? The book. Then we have on the front seat. That is a prepositional phrase. That is the space that the book takes up. Of the car is a prepositional uh, phrase telling us where the seat is. For Sarah is the space that the book exists as. The book is on the front seat of the car. Where does the book exist? For Sarah. Prepositional phrases can also modify an adjective. The largest mammal on the planet is the blue whale. Who or what is this about? It's about a mammal. What does the mammal do? It exists as. Exists as what? The blue whale. So that's a predicate nominative. Which whale? The blue whale. Which mammal? Largest mammal. Which mammal? The mammal. On the planet? is a prepositional phrase modif that is modifying the adjective largest. So we have our sentence base. We have all of this, our modifier, our modifier. Then we have an elbow with a prepositional phrase. Here are three sentences that you need to come up with an original sentence that matches the diagram. Remember, all of the ones that I'm highlighting our prepositional phrases. Use this um, worksheet to help you come up with sentences that will work for this. We have three sentences that we need to diagram on the back. Matilda took pudding from the refrigerator in the garage. In the morning, Larry cleaned the kitchen with the help from Wesley. We spotted a bird's nest on a high branch of a spruce tree at the park. I'll do 4A with you. Matilda took pudding from the refrigerator in the garage. Who or what is this about? It's about Matilda. What did she do? She took, what did she took? Pudding. So we have our sentence base. Matilda is our simple subject. Our simple predicate is took. Pudding is our direct object. From the refrigerator in the garage are two prepositional phrases that both indicate a space. It, the space that she took something and the refrigerator is from the space in the garage. So from refrigerator the, from refrigerator the in garage the in garage the